The end of the world as we know it could come in any number of ways, depending on who you ask. Some people believe global cataclysm will occur when Earth's magnetic poles reverse. When North goes South, they say, the continents will lurch in one direction or the other, triggering massive earthquakes, rapid climate change and species extinctions. The geologic record shows that hundreds of pole reversals have occurred throughout Earth's history, they happen when patches of iron atoms in Earth's liquid outer core become reverse aligned, like tiny magnets oriented in the opposite direction from those around them. When the reversed patches grow to the point that they dominate the rest of the core, Earth's overall magnetic field flips. The last reversal happened 780,000 years ago during the Stone Age, and indeed there's evidence to suggest the planet may be in the early stages of a polar reversal right now. But should we really fear this event? What will actually happen when north pointing compasses make a 180 degree turn toward Antarctica? Will the continents tear themselves apart, or are we in store for much more mundane changes? Weak field. The most dramatic changes that occur when the poles reverse is a very large decrease of the total field intensity, said Jean Pierre Vallet, who conducts research on geomagnetic reversals at the Institute of Earth Physics of Paris. Earth's magnetic field takes between 1,000 and 10,000 years to reverse, and in the process, it greatly diminishes before it realigns. It's not a sudden flip, but a slow process during which the field strength becomes weak, very probably the field becomes more complex and might show more than two poles for a while, and then builds up in strength and, aligns, in the opposite direction, said Monica Court, the scientific director of the Niemeg Geomagnetic Observatory at GFZ Potsdam in Germany. The scientists say it's the weak in-between phase that would be roughest on Earthlings. According to John Tarduno, Professor of Geophysics at the University of Rochester, a strong magnetic field helps protect Earth from blasts of radiation from the Sun. Coronal mass ejections CMEs, occasionally occur on the Sun, and sometimes hurtle directly toward Earth, Tarduno said. Some of the particles associated with CMEs can be blocked by Earth's magnetic field. With a weak field, this shielding is less efficient. The charged particles bombarding Earth's atmosphere during solar storms would punch holes in Earth's atmosphere, and this could hurt humans. Ozone holes, like that over Antarctica, which today are due to an entirely different cause related to man, could form as solar particles interact with the atmosphere in a cascade of chemical reactions. These holes would not be permanent, but might be present on 1 to 10 year time scales arguably important enough to be a concern in terms of skin cancer rates, Tarduno said. Will sunscreen protect you from the upcoming solar flares? Vallet agrees that a weak magnetic field could lead to the formation of ozone holes. He wrote a paper last year proposing a direct link between the demise of Neanderthals, our evolutionary cousins, and a significant decrease of the geomagnetic field intensity that occurred exactly at the same period. That time. The lead-up to a geomagnetic reversal appears to have been aborted, the field weakened but didn't end up flipping. Other scientists aren't convinced that there's a connection between polar reversals and species extinctions. Even if the field becomes very weak, at the Earth's surface we are shielded from radiation by the atmosphere. Similarly as we cannot see or feel the presence of the geomagnetic field now, we most likely would not notice any significant change from a reversal, Court said. Our technology definitely would be in danger, however. Even now, solar storms can damage satellites, cause power outages and interrupt radio communications. These kinds of negative influences clearly will increase if the magnetic field and thus its shielding function became significantly weaker, for example during a reversal, and it will be important to find mitigation strategies, she told Life's Little Mysteries. One additional worry is that a weakening and eventual reversal in the field would disorient all those species that rely on geomagnetism for navigation, including bees, salmon, turtles, whales, bacteria and pigeons. There is no scientific consensus on how those creatures would cope. Continental Shifts Many of the disaster scenarios associated with geomagnetic polar reversals in popular imagination are pure fantasy. The scientists said. There definitely won't be any breakup or shift of the continents. 
The first proof is the geologic record. When the last pole switch happened, no worldwide shifting of continents or other planet-wide disasters occurred, as geoscientists can testify to from fossil and other records, said Alan Thompson, head of geomagnetism at the British Geological Survey. The scientists explained that changes in the Earth's liquid core happen on a completely different distance and time scale than convection in the Earth's mantle, which causes Earth's tectonic plates to shift, moving the continents. The liquid core does indeed touch the bottom of the mantle, but it would take tens of millions of years for changes in the core to propagate up through the mantle and influence the motion of the tectonic plates. In short, there is no evidence from the geological past and in my opinion also no conceivable method that magnetic reversals cool trigger earthquakes, Court said. Sooner or later. The geomagnetic field is currently weakening possibly because of a growing patch of reverse alignment in the liquid core deep beneath Brazil and the South Atlantic. According to Tarduno, the strength of Earth's magnetic field has been decreasing for at least 160 years at an alarming rate, leading some to speculate that we are heading toward a reversal. The reversal might happen, or it might be aborted, Earth is too complex a system for scientists to know which outcome to expect. Either way, the process will drag on over the next few thousand years, giving us time to adjust to the changes. Polar Opposites – What would happen to us if the North Pole suddenly became the South? If the expression history repeats itself holds any truth, then Earth is due for a polar reversal any day now, with a recent report suggesting it may occur in our lifetime. Polar reversals are natural and in reality a far cry from what's depicted in natural disaster films. However, when the poles do change again it'll be rather hard to miss. Here's what to expect if you get to witness our next polar flip. In a nutshell, the core of the Earth is basically a giant magnet, and every few hundreds of thousands of years the South Pole becomes the North Pole and vice versa. This flip does not mean that the planet necessarily turns topsy-turvy, but rather that the invisible magnetic field surrounding Earth changes direction causing your compass to point south rather than north. The pole change will have the biggest effect on our power grids and communication systems, but researchers predict that the human body may experience some of the effects of the reverse as well. The Earth's magnetic field takes between 1,000 and 10,000 years to reverse, Live Science reported. However, it's during this transition period that humans will be subjected to the most noticeable changes. Some will be harmless, and amazing, such as the aurora borealis being visible in Hawaii and Venezuela rather than the Arctic and Alaska, as reported by the Huffington Post. Others will be slightly less pleasant. The most dramatic changes that occur when the poles reverse is a very large decrease of the total field intensity, said Jean-Pierre Vallée, who conducts research on geomagnetic reversals at the Institute of Earth Physics of Paris, Live Science reported. As the poles slowly flip, the magnetic field begins to progressively lose its strength. Although the Earth is also protected by the atmosphere, with a weakened magnetic field the planet will be slightly more susceptible to blasts of radiation from the Sun. Coronal mass ejections CME, occur occasionally toward the direction of the Earth, and changing poles may increase their effect on our planet. Some of the particles associated with CMEs can be blocked by Earth's magnetic field. With a weak field, this shielding is less efficient, John Tarduno, professor of geophysics at the University of Rochester told Live Science. Without the magnetic field, more particles would be able to penetrate the Earth's atmosphere, causing holes in the ozone layer. These holes in the ozone layer would be temporary but during this time humans would be at an increased risk for developing skin cancer, Tarduno explained. While scientists debate over the severity of solar radiation that Earth would be exposed to during a pole change, it's also important to keep in mind that modern sunscreen is capable of protecting against most radiation given off from the sun. Magnets Effect on Life Many animals are sensitive to the Earth's magnetic field and rely on geomagnetism to aid in navigation. During the reversal of the Earth's magnetic field it's possible that animals such as bees, salmon, turtles, whales, pigeons, and even bacteria, could become disorientated, but seen as Dr. Stenel Denwalt, 
An astronomer at the National Institute of Aerospace explained that these shifts have occurred at least 170 times in Earth's history, it's likely these animals will be able to find their way again. Although humans do not rely on the Earth's magnetic field as heavily to help with navigation as many animals do, many scientists have found a correlation between human mental health and changes in magnetism. It's been observed that during geomagnetic storms, when animals lose their sense of direction humans exhibit a different type of change, and depression and suicides will increase. However, what exactly would happen to humans' mental state during a magnetic reversal remains unknown. Whenever the polar reverse does happen, it's likely to take a very very long time to complete. Such a flip is not instantaneous but would take many hundred if not a few thousand years, Rune Floberg Hagen, mission manager of the European Space Agency's ESA, satellite race warm, told Live Science. In that time, we're likely to have become prepared for its effects on our health, and in a world where people are dying from the caramel coloring in soda, it may be that the poles changing are the very least of our worries. Some people might hope that 2016 came to end sooner rather than later. But they probably don't hope that the entirety of life on Earth comes at the same time. Unfortunately, self-proclaimed prophets on YouTube claim to have found evidence that's exactly what's going to happen, and that 29th of July will be our last day here. The inconveniently timed apocalypse will come because the Earth's poles are going to swap around, so the north on your compass would show as south, according to the End Times Prophecies video on YouTube that has now been viewed millions of times. And it's about to happen. NASA's Most Stunning Pictures of Space But the Earth's magnetic poles flip around all the time. And it doesn't cause a great deal of problems for anyone, apart from the people who make compasses. The prophecy's first mistake is assuming that a polar reversal would be out of the ordinary. In fact, we can see from evidence in sediment taken deep from the sea that the polar reversal happens relatively regularly, for such a geological event, and that we're probably living through one now. Read more. Scientists to nudge asteroid off course to practice saving Earth. The second mistake is assuming that anything would go seriously wrong if it did. A reversal probably wouldn't bring with it any of the major events that people claim, things like a flare from the sun, much as that is genuinely something that we should be worrying about. And NASA has already addressed the claims, because they are the same ones that were being made back in 2012. Then, they said that there was absolutely nothing to worry about, for a number of reasons. The science shows that magnetic polar reversal is, in terms of geologic timescales, a common occurrence that happens gradually over millennia, NASA wrote at the end of 2011. While the conditions that cause polarity reversals are not entirely predictable, the North Pole's movement could subtly change direction, for instance, there is nothing in the millions of years of geologic record to suggest that any of the 2012 doomsday scenarios connected to a pole reversal should be taken seriously. A reversal might, however, be good business for magnetic compass manufacturers good business for magnetic compass manufacturers good business for